I love making videos here, but I have two jobs outside of YouTube that form my normal full-time income. On one side, it's video-based, where my small team and I create corporate videos for business clients. And on the other side, it's at the Metal Workshop, where we serve clients in machining, welding, and all that design and manufacturing stuff. I'm sure you can imagine then that the everyday carry kits are pretty different between the two. But of course there is some overlap, which I suppose means that I technically have three EDCs, my true everyday foundational kit, and then a fork in the road where there's add-ons depending on which job I'm tackling at any given day. So let's start with the core EDC first before branching out to the two different job carry kits. I've got my phone, which at this point is the four or five year old iPhone XR. Battery's still going strong, and since I spend so much time on the phone doing sales calls, AirPod Pros are a must. I've got my apartment keys anchored to the copper Spec DNT that me and Eric made. And hey, side note, a lot of folks have asked me about these since our original Kickstarter campaign was so short. So we have decided to make another limited run at the workshop and they are gonna be ready in about a week or two. So stay tuned if you're one of the folks who have messaged us interested in buying one. But next up are my car keys, to which I've anchored the Nightcore TUP1000. A great little torch, except for the fact that it uses micro USB charging instead of USB Type-C. I choose this despite also owning the T4K, which does have USB-C, because this TUP is even more compact to minimize pocket bulk. A moonlight mode of 1 lumen and then 15, 65, and 200 lumen outputs with a turbo boost of 1000 lumens makes this little keyring torch super versatile, especially because the status screen lets me know exactly how much longer I have at any given output. After that, anyone who's been with me for a bit knows that my notebook is something I use more than my phone. So this Traveler's Company notebook in their regular size is always with me no matter what. I need this for both jobs, but also even during my downtime, use it frequently to jot down ideas that come to mind. For example, for YouTube. The pens are still the lobby safaris, and with the process and workflow diagrams that I frequently draw during client meetings, the two colors help drive home points and emphasize and categorize information clearly. I always get asked about the pen clip, which is a double loop made of leather and brass, handcrafted by a workshop in Japan called the Superior Labor. And lastly, in my core carry is the pocket knife. My dear, old faithful, Benchmade M4 Bailout has been my primary EDC blade for the past two years. It's cut a ton of gaff tape on set when filming client projects, and of course boatloads of random tasks at the workshop. But with my base EDC kit out of the way, let's now move onto the forks in the road, with the add-ons depending on which of my two jobs I happen to be working on any given day. Starting with the workshop add-ons, there are four of them, and everything kicks off with the Carhartt apron. With welding, grinding, and metal shavings flying off the mill and lathe, I need this on since I frequently have to head to client-facing meetings in the middle of the day, and I definitely don't want to be dirty when I leave the workshop and head to other people's offices. In the apron's pockets are three things, and first up is the Olight Warrior Mini 2. And for the workshop, it's the perfect form factor. Not too big that it's cumbersome or takes up too much space, but not so small that I can't get a confident purchase on it. For work, a tail switch is a must for me to fire it on and off in a comfortable hammer grip, whether it's digging through crates or pointing out stuff that we're currently working on. And of course, it's built like a tank. And especially at the workshop, I definitely can't be using things that I need to worry about and baby. Next up in the workshop add-ons is the Leatherman Charge Plus TTI. I'm gonna be honest, this actually does not get used as often as you might think, since we have got the full-size versions of every single tool throughout the workshop. But it still lives in the pocket of the Carhartt apron, since still, a couple times a day, it's handy to just have it on hand to supplement some specific work that I'm doing without, you know, needing to walk all the way across the shop floor to a tool cart or cabinet. And last up in the workshop kit is this titanium bolt-action pen by Tactile Turn. When it comes to sales, process design, and business planning, as you saw earlier, I like the versatility of two different colored inks with my Lamy Safaris. But similarly to the flashlight in this kit, when I'm in the shop, I want something that's basically unbreakable. And this tactile turn, as a true forever item, can handle any of the abuse that my day-to-day -day workshop tasks might throw at it. Moving on to the other fork in the road now is my video-based business, and right off the bat, I of course need my computer. It's this 2021 16 inch MacBook M1 Pro. And since I always resell my computers when I upgrade to a new one, I've added this D brand concrete pattern skin everywhere possible so that when it comes time to upgrade and sell it, I can peel the skins off and the original surfaces will still be in brand new condition. Next up in this kit is the Olight Arkfeld. A dedicated flashlight in general is key on client shoots, whether it's to serve as a guide during late night or early morning filming, or just looking through the gear trailer or inside camera bags. 
but you may remember that my car keys have the Nightcore TUP anchored to them, which would technically be able to help with all of these tasks too. So why do I now carry this extra torch, a relatively new addition to my kit? It's because this Arkfeld has a switchable green laser, which has honestly become insanely helpful on set to quickly point things out to the team, but also in an office context when I'm doing presentations to video clients and project a slide deck onto the wall, the laser is great to point things out clearly as well. Speaking of sales and client visits, next up are my dry erase markers, and these are some of the most powerful tools when going out to new prospect discovery meetings. When talking with potential new business, I have one goal to uncover their biggest and most urgent challenges and see if I can solve them. And so taking over their boardroom windows to clearly break down everything that's discussed so we can all examine the problem together and ensure that there's absolutely no loss in interpretation is key. The last addition to this jobs carry is the Orbit Key Nest. And if you've never heard of the Nest, it is an incredible caddy that, as you can see, has core storage, customizable dividers, a ridiculous amount of small item storage on the underside of the lid, and speaking of the lid, also doubles as a small tray and wireless charger if it's plugged in with a standard USB Type-C cable. I typically store supporting tech accessories like extra memory cards, external hard drives, cables, and a card reader inside of this. You know, it's great for us to be deliberate and intentional about all the things that we choose to carry with us for whatever work that we do. But all the thoughtful intentionality about the individual things we carry doesn't do us much good if there isn't a reliable bag to carry it all in. So you'll definitely want to check out this video right up here for a detailed look at the hyper-organized sling that I bring with me to the workshop, or this video down here for the laptop bag I use for my video and sales related work. Everything we talked about in this video are linked down in the description below in case you want to check them out for yourself. And hey, if you got value from this video, hit that like button and consider subscribing and tapping that bell so you'll be notified the moment new videos just like this one drop.